Hi there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is the BTEC Applied Science Unit 1. It's learning aim A1. And we're going to look at dot and cross diagrams for dative covalent bonding. So we're going to start off by defining a dative covalent bond, sometimes called a coordinate bond, same thing. And then we're going to look at some dot and cross diagrams. First up though, if you don't already subscribe, what you're waiting for, your support is very much appreciated. So please make sure you use the like and the comments feature to let me know what you think. So previous videos, we've seen what bonding is. It's an attractive force holding two things together. We've gone through ionic bonding. We've also gone through covalent bonding. So just to remind you then, a covalent bond was the electrostatic attraction between a shared pair of electrons and two nuclei. So how is a dative covalent bond any different then? Remember, it could also be called a coordinate bond, same thing. So far, all the covalent bonds that we've seen has been a shared pair of electrons where the, it's been one electron from each atom. So if we look at this covalent bond between two chlorine atoms in a chlorine molecule, it consists of one dot and one cross. We can see that the crosses has come from the chlorine atom on the right and the dot has come from the chlorine atom on the left. So it's one electron from each atom. In the case of a dative or coordinate covalent bond, both the shared electrons are coming from the same atom. So the best thing to do would be just to talk through some examples and show you what we mean by a dative covalent bond. So one common example is the ammonium ion, NH4+. And that consists of a H plus and an NH3 molecule. And what's happening here is the two electrons on that NH3 have formed a bond with that H and there's a dative covalent bond because both of those electrons have come from nitrogen. The other bonds are classed as covalent bonds. Oh, and there's James Bond. Sorry. Let's look at another example then. So second example would be something like H3O plus. And it's very much the same. Again, it involves a H plus ion and water. And a dative covalent bond is being formed when there's a lone pair of those electrons from the oxygen going into the hydrogen. There's our dative covalent bond. And the other two bonds on the water would just be classed as regular covalent bonds. There's one electron from each atom you can see there. Let's summarize then. So a covalent bond is the electrostatic attraction between a shared pair of electrons and two nuclei. A dative covalent bond or a coordinate bond is the electrostatic attraction between a shared pair of electrons and two nuclei where both of the shared pair of electrons are from the same atom. And it's very common when things bond with H+. So please look out for the next video on polar or non-polar where we're going to start looking at intermolecular forces.